Good morning, ESM. I'm John. And I'm Luke. And as John and Tanner said on Monday, sorry I couldn't be there on such an important day. I was very, very disappointed in you, I must say. Try not to be sick next time. Any, but anyways, it is part two of our sports recap. Today, we're going to cover the dude sports, and we'll get right into that after news. In news this morning, Britney Spears is awaiting a judge's ruling today on their possible termination of her con conserva conservatorship, a 13-year old arrangement that has stripped her of her right to make her own personal and financial decisions. Spears informally asked the court to terminate her conserver conservatorship June 23rd. Matthew Rosangart, her attorney, filed her official request for termination at the end of October after her father, James Jamie Spears, was suspended. Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Brenda Penny will rule on the petition. If Penny approves, Spears will have and autonomy to make her own financial and medical decisions for the first time since 2008. In other news, yesterday in Utica, New York, an Amber Alert was sent out saying a 14-year-old girl who people thought was abducted. Utica people are now saying that it was a false alarm. The alert that was sent out saying that the girl, after some extensive and intensive investigating, shortly after midnight, they sent out an announcement saying that the Amber Alert was a false alarm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Math leaguers, our second meet is quickly approaching. Please see Ms. Pelkey and G7 for your permission slip that needs to be signed before we go. Our next meet is next Tuesday, the 16th, so see me today. And the Spartan Mart School Store Grand Reopening is Monday, November 15th. The school store will be open during blocks 3 and 4 on days 1 and 3, and third block only on days 2 and 4. It opens 10 minutes after the start of class and will close 10 minutes before the end of class. Items such as cookies, drinks, and snacks will be sold. Yes, the good cookies. And you must have a pass from a teacher that is aware of your destination to the Spartan Mart to be served. No pass, no service, no exceptions. ESM wrestling program was going to be starting their season. This last open gym is taking place this Friday, this, today. The first practice is Monday, November 15th. Any participants that are looking to wrestle have to sign up on Family ID and show up on the 15th with appropriate gear to be part of the team. Grease is the word this year for ESM Spartan Stages 2022 musical. And picture retakes will be this Friday, November 12th, in the auditorium. You can stop at any time during the day to have your picture taken. If for some reason you did not get your picker, picture package yet, <laughs> an expected one, you can also do a retake. You'll be able to choose which picture you want. Club group photos will be next week on Tuesday, November 16th and Wednesday, November 17th. Please see your club advisor for full details. A list of clubs and their assigned times can be found on esmyearbook.org. Wow, that was a lot, huh? That was a lot. <laughs> and we're back, kicking off things strong with volleyball. The volleyball team finished with a record of 9-11. and 11. They had an especially strong end to their season, having a five-game win streak at one point. The boys were led by outside hitter Cole Thomas and setter Jake Franklin. Unfortunately, they came up just short in sectionals, losing to Living Word in the semifinals 3-2. to two. Still a very good season for the boys. Unfortunately, we don't have an interview for you, but the next thing we move on to is golf. Golf finished with a 9-9 nine and nine record, and here to talk uh, with us some more about it is the golf coach, Mr. Ferris. Mr. Ferris, how are you? Good morning, guys. Great. Good morning. All right, so how do you think the guys performed as a whole this season? They, as a team, improved 17 shots. It's uh, well, the that's largest improvement ever. Our record didn't show it because other teams got a little better too, but 17 shots is incredible. Who do you think was the standout player this season? They're all great. Political answer, isn't that great? Yeah. Zach Johnson had a tremendous year. He'll be, he's still moving on, and he moves on to the state qualifier, which is coming up in May. Nice. The end of May. Got any questions, John? Uh, what are you excited for next season? Um, bringing everybody back. We have a lot of youth this year, so most of them should be back next year. We should be even stronger next year. Right. Fantastic. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Ferris. Thank yeah. you very much. Now, uh, before we talk about our last sport uh, for today, weather.
Today, on Friday, is a very rainy day with a high of 59 and a low of 40 degrees. But luckily, that rain won't last all day since it'll slowly turn into a light shower that will then turn into some clouds for the rest of the day. So, if there's mass breaks today, it's going to be slightly cold but very rainy. And as you can see, the rest of the week, well, mainly the weekend, is going to be rainy and surprise in higher elevation areas there might even be some snow. Highs will be in the mid to upper 40s with lows in the low 30s. So very cold week, so make sure you stay warm if you're going out. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Dude, I don't know about you, but I'm not excited for that snow. I'm not excited I'm for it. I'm either. not ready. I'm it's clearly just, still in tank top season. It's too early. Um, you're always in tank top season, let's be honest. That is true. All right. Now we'll get on to cross country and who else to talk about but our own John with sports. That's so, John, how yes. do you think the team did this year? Uh, the team did really well. Um, you know, they ran exceptionally well and we ran really well as a team how do, how do you think you did this year though that's a better question um not great i was in and out through the season had a lot of uh like sick and injuries and all that stuff but the rest of the team did really well yeah um honestly i i myself went to one of the cross country practices did and you? Not, yeah i did one time just oh, that is right completely out of you were work. you were a soul yeah i was soul i was replacement soul yeah. because he was doing something else and the coach said i did better than him so you know what <laughs> take that soul all right, now we'll move on to the next sport, which is football. football. Football team finished the season with a 4-5 and five record, the offense being led by quarterback Tyler Bell and receiver Rocky O. The Spartans' defense was led by safety Jackson Palum and linebacker Isaiah Hayden. And now, actually, upcoming, to, upcoming today during our sports, you'll get to hear about the, uh, the Spartans in the Senior Bowl today. They had a very oh, yeah. good performance and possibly an MVP. Uh, and now we go on to the best boys sport by far, we're going down to Middleton tomorrow to complete, compete in states. The boys soccer team. Of course. And why would we <laughs> talk about boys soccer if we didn't bring on our very own Todd Durantini? What's up, guys? Hey, Todd. How are you right. doing? I'm good. All right. Thank you very much for joining us, Todd. And uh, good luck to you and the rest of the team You know, this weekend. I hope you guys you know, kick butt. Thank you. We hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Todd, how, how important would you say, of course, and this game is very important, but how just how important is this game upcoming for you guys? Well, this opportunity is very rare, uh, so this is very important to us. Uh, mm -hmm. State, semifinals, finals, uh, so we're looking to take it home. And I hope you guys do. Thank you. It'll be very good for the school and everybody, of course, because yes. who wouldn't want to see a good old-fashioned uh, boys soccer state champions? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> First ever. So First how do you, ever, wow. How do you think the team performed as a whole this year? Uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, it was rough, uh, but we put, you know, the missing pieces together and we... Uh, found a rhythm so uh, and you know we got a sectional title we got a regional title so I think it worked out pretty well and hey, what more could you ask for right very cool and All right. um, now we'll go on to our uh, very own sports thank you very much Todd of course and now, it's gonna be with sports us sports with us Four ESM senior football players were all selected to play in the Art Carl All-Star Game, those being Tyler Bell, Rocky Yell, Jackson Palin, and Connor Todd. In the game last night, Rocky was honored as the winner of the Bill Clonan MVP Award. Rocky had several catches along with two touchdowns. Jackson Palin had two interceptions, and Tyler Bell had two passing touchdowns. A great performance by the ESM seniors. Otto Beckham Jr. has agreed to a one-year contract with the Los Angeles Rams. The team announced this on Thursday. Cam Newton has returned to the Carolina Panthers as he signed a one-year contract. And the Miami Dolphins beat the Baltimore Ravens 22-10. The Golden State Warriors have the best record in the NBA at 10-1 after, the, after beating the Minnesota Timberwolves 123-110. Andrew Wiggins had a season high of 35 points. And like we said earlier, the boys' varsity soccer team hits the road this weekend off to Middletown where they go for gold in the New York State Section 3 Class A Championships. Their first game is tomorrow at 4.45 against Medieval Memorial in the state semifinal. 
If they win that game, they go to play in the finals against the winner of Summer versus Williamsville South. You can watch it all unfold live on the NFHS network for a 10.99 monthly subscription. That's a little, little plug there. A little plug. Uh, remember to tag us on Twitter to show support with your orange and blue pictures at ESM Morning Show. Another plug. So there you have it, all the fall sports this year. Very good season for ESM all around, I'd say. Uh, before we end, though, we're going to kick it over to Tanner, who's going to talk about the basketball game that just happened. Almost forgot. Um, students are going to win 100%. Involved the students versus staff game. As, last no as Tuesday night was a spectacular night and a huge turnout for the event. Joe Gelati here on the drive. He ended up going to the line for two free throw attempts there. Mr. Underwood, hit, he had a great night as he played in the alumni game as well. And Woodlands, Mrs. Ferrara had a huge night scoring some few baskets. And Mr. Carr laid the defense down on senior Raquel. And here's Miss Corbett and more on last night's game. I hope I just played well enough for the scouts who were in the stands watching me. I still got a couple of years of eligibility, so I'm looking for you know a good season next year. We'll see what happens. That looks like a wild game. What a, what a great game. Wish I would have been there. Yeah. Uh, but like we were saying, I can't wait to see how the winter season goes for both dudes and girls sports. And for me, John, and everyone here at the morning show, we hope you have a great day.